Whenever I cook, I am like a tornado. And my boyfriend challenged me to cook with as little dishes as possible. And I said, okay, so I'll make some dessert. And I ended up doing brownies all in one bowl, which was pretty fantastic if you ask me. If I were making normal brownies, I probably would have melted the butter in a separate bowl and melted the chocolate in another bowl and just compiled dishes on dishes on dishes. But with this one, you end up melting the butter and the chocolate together in the same bowl. Let the chocolate and the butter sit fully for three whole minutes before you even stir it. If you don't, you're gonna end up with lumpy chocolate, it's not gonna be fully melted, it's not gonna taste as good, and you really want that thick, creamy, smooth chocolate and butter mixture. And then just add the dry ingredients into it. It's easy, it's wonderful. It's one dish. Brownies are a special treat for me. Whenever I have my nieces and nephews over, I always make brownies with them. It's kind of our special thing that we do, and it's just a cool moment to have with some great kids. If you're short on time, this is the recipe for you. It not only is really easy, but you're only using one bowl, and you're also saving time on prep because you don't have to pull out a whole bunch of bowls and a whole bunch of dishes to get the mixture together. It's just one bowl. There are some really beautiful shots in this video, like the chocolate stirring. It's so pretty. I'm really proud of this one, you guys. It's so good. <laughs> the only other dish you use is the baking sheet, which you line very nicely with parchment paper, and you lift it out when the brownies are done and cooled, and it's just heavenly because that dish is clean. Yes, one dish, I did it. When you're baking brownies, you always want to make sure and let them cool completely before you even touch them. You want to have a brownie that's going to hold together, right? You don't want a disgusting, sloppy mess. And I know it's hard to wait, but they are so worth it. Because they're going to be that dense, chewy, chocolatey texture that you really want in a brownie. And these deliver 100%. Another fight in my household is over who gets the middle piece of the brownie or who gets the end piece. The piece in the middle is nice and gooey and chocolatey and the outsides are nice and crispy and crunchy for those end piece lovers. I'm a middle piece person and so is my boyfriend, but we have to fight over it to the death and I'm gonna get you next time, buddy. <laughs> Tell me in the comments which piece you prefer. Are you an end piece? Are you a middle piece? Are you a corner piece? tells a lot about your personality.